I start recording so I don't have to. Yeah, I'll download it. Fuck it, whatever. So, all right. While we wait for that, I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick and grab some water. Fuck it up. We'll see if my internet connection takes a shit because I've already lost power at least once today. Oh. I just heard a transformer blow far enough away that it didn't affect my power, but... Are you having storms? Uh, we had storms Friday and Saturday, um, and now we're just, like, there could be flash flooding! Oh. Yeah, they, they're saying that about Dallas, too. Um, I guess the Trinity is, like, five feet over flood right now. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Zzzma. Yeah. All right, here we go. That's pretty normal for the... Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it, you know, all of us are just kind of going, yeah, 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 and, you know. Our flash flooding is just there's too much water for the sewers to take the whole turn on. Yesterday there was like two inches of hail in like five minutes and then it all melted. Ow! It was really big hail. We were inside the remember where we were. Did you guys? Okay, Danny. Danny. We were in the Elf City that we went to before. You're underground. We're underground? We're underground. That's right. We're, we're, yes, we're, the, we're, we're, we're on the, the way to the place where we're supposed to be able to go down to the Nether Ward, and yeah, we're, we're escorting... That's right. That, that caravan, and we decide we made the decision instead of going around, we would go through. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's we right. We had right. a battle with some kind of creature that a I, or something. Yes, that I shoved up into its burrow tunnel. Oh yeah. And that's about where we ended it. After the uh, dwarves. Um, descended on the corpse and dissected it for all of its oh. sellable organs and body parts and things. Alright. Hello, Miss Squiggly Kitty. Squiggly! So you guys will uh, be happy to know that my slightly sadistic girlfriend helped me come up with what I was going to do today. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to deal with your and Dan's like lightning <laughs> thing. So uh yeah, there's there's that. There's that guys. Alright, let's go ahead and put our faces up there. Hello, peoples of the internets. Hello. So announcements. I really don't have any such a boring person. It's been a while. It's been uh, it's been over a month. I think the last time we played was May 5th. Ow. May 5th. Yeah, it's been a hot night. That has been a while. I went to Mail Christmas Blast yesterday and I got to a UPS store at 3.01 and it closed at 3. <laughs> well, that sucks. Because I need, actually, I need help to, like, pack it so it's, like, safe. Oh, apparently that, that transformer that blew was closer than I thought, because I just saw an electric truck drive by. <laughs> Other buildings. Ooh. Okay, so, yeah, no, no announcements, really, other than... Uh, you can access uh, my stream store by typing exclamation point store in chat. It'll take you, it'll give you a link to stream elements where you can use your hard earned gold pieces that you, you obtain while watching my channel. Uh, you can spend those on things. A lot of D&D related stuff. Uh, in particularly minis, if you want to get your hands on some of my pewter minis at I really need to get rid of. Really need to get rid of those. So, yay! 
Uh, that's all I got. Tell us who you are and who you play, Emily, if you remember. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris Kuya. I play Mina, a tiefling, daughter of the, the big bad dude. Rough, you know, my father. <laughs> Nancy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nancy, and I play Recall, a uh, a, a bard, a dwarven bard, um, and, and that's about it. All right. Yeah. Hello. I play Basil Timbers. I will use one of those grenades at some point here in the near future. I want to see okay. what they do. What happen? <laughs> All right. Alright, and Danny. And, um, I am two in the chat, and I am playing Coltash Dakarn, the half orc paladin. He's been having some family issues. <laughs> and, uh, has just finished stuffing the body of a boulette up a side passage to get it out of our way so we can continue progressing escorting a dwarven caravan through the mountains because we are heading for a place to descend to the nether ward mm -hmm. so yeah just to because it's been a month we'll do a little bit more recap there um they made their way to... Let me go to the world map. I was on the... I was on the, the token page so I could make a token that will definitely not try and kill you. Um, they were in Masanos, where they had assaulted the uh, one of the mercenary groups that Coltash's brother was a member of, and they discovered that uh, they were in league with one of the demons... Uh, that they had yet to meet. A demon with a purple tint to them, also hella wandering. Um, from there, they made their way over to Cortona, uh, where they decided to just go ahead and... Fuck it, we're gonna attack Emily's character's dad. We're gonna, we're gonna take it to Mina's dad. And stuff. Uh, where they were hired by a gnomish uh, merchant and his dwarven partner uh, who convinced them or, you know, said, hey, we can go through the mountain instead of around, save some time. Uh, and uh, they ran to some bullets. And uh, once the bullets were dead, the drivers uh, of this caravan descended on them quite quickly and dismantled the bodies with some pretty good efficiency uh, and stuffed anything they could into one of their carts. Which is where we left off. You guys had just finished they had just finished stuffing like the the hide and whatever else they could uh, effectively remove from the body into one of the carts. What you guys like to do? <coughs> Well, I presume we're going to continue on through the tunnel. Okay. That would be my bet. Okay. Have we rested or anything? Nope. <clears throat> you have not rested. Are there more of those tunnels that this creature came out of? Uh, make an investigation check. If... The website will let me. No, we can't have network problems. No, week. no, no network problems yet. It was just the the browser was just being really slow. Also, uh, Miss Squiggles apparently uh, is indicating that it wasn't her fault that I haven't streamed or done D and D for a month. I'll say you should tweet. <laughs> oh shit. I keep feeling like, did you tweet? Did you, did you tweet? <laughs> no, I, I did, I, I did not tweet this, uh, uh my I My should... like you to tweet so I can take your tweet. 
<laughs> I, yeah, I should absolutely tweet this, shouldn't I? I should absolutely tweet this. Hey, it's it's been over a month since I've really streamed anything, <laughs> so... It's, you know, it's, it happens. Uh, it's not gonna be going live. We are legitimately live. There, I've tweeted. And it still says yeah. Monkey on, too. LeChuck's Revenge. Oh, Squiggles, it was totally your fault. Okay. So. Yes. The, uh, the caravan... Once all the rubble is cleared away, which is what you were originally doing with the bullets, before the, or before the bullets attacked, once all the rubble is cleared away, uh, you continue on your journey through through this mountain range. Um, and, uh, yeah. But, uh, but another half a day goes by, and you start feeling tired. Uh, your body starts feeling tired even though it's pitch black in the tunnels you start to hit that point where you think you should probably rest um, during during the the other the the, the rest of the hat rest of the day that you're traveling you do hear um, the rumbling sounds uh, through the walls of what could potentially be more subterranean creatures uh, that may or may not pose an issue. So as, as the day closes and comes to an end and you've reached that point of you're getting tired, what would you guys like to do? Uh, la 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 la. <clears throat> we should probably hold camp here in the tunnel, keep watch, and have a long rest. Are there any, like, little side areas that we might be able to get off of the, the, the main area? Do the, dwarf and the, do the dwarf and the gnome have a, uh, have a sense of how far we've gone and how much is left to go? Oh, good point. Yeah. Uh, so you ask, ask them that, and the the gnome, the dwarf hasn't really spoken much, like at all. You've heard his voice as he speaks to the gnome, but he hasn't really spoken to you guys. <clears throat> uh, the gnome, uh, oh, uh, the investigation check for for Basil. Uh, there are every once in a while there are um, other tunnels <clears throat> about bullet size. Okay. That uh, that uh, cross this little caravan path that you're on. They're not hard to miss. They're they're pretty big. <laughs> uh, so, Coltash asks the the gnome uh, about how far do you think they are, um, and the gnome. I thought he was asking me for a second. I was like. I don't think Basil would know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a deep gnome, but I still don't think he would know. He just licks his finger, holds it up in the air. Not a day. Not a day. <laughs> the, uh, the gnome merchant takes a moment uh, and watches Basil do this. Because... Well, that's just kind of did throw the question out there. How far do you guys think we are? Um, <laughs> Some of the dirt. <laughs> Bow day. Bow day. Uh, well, um, we've got about, uh, about another day and a half, two days left to travel, uh, traverse the tunnels. We, we're going to cut off about two days travel from, uh, from the little village to the next one. Barring any any issues we might run into along the way. Right. Issues. Gotcha. 
mm-hmm. creatures, you know, things of that nature. I guessed that much. But thanks for the clarification. Okay. Uh, so... Yeah, uh, y'all have a good night, and I'm gonna... And he and the, uh, he and the dwarf uh, and the drivers kind of crawl under... It's everyone's favorite mild, these Scottish know. Uh, they kind of crawl under the, under the wagons, uh, to, uh it, lay out their bedrolls and whatnot. Um, don't untether the creatures that are pulling them. Uh, so. What would you I'll like take, to do? I'll take first watch. Okay. I'll take second watch. Okay. Uh, the drivers also, uh, like, will take a watch with one of you. You cannot be me. <laughs> oh yeah, your, your, uh, your, your I'm, thing wore off, like. Yeah, I'm in the, I'm in the wagon. You're in the wagon? You're hiding in the wagon with your, with your hood drawn? Yeah. As, as far over your face as you can get it? <laughs> okay. So first watch, please make a perception check, if you would. Who's in first watch? Uh, Koltash. Okay. Alright. So, uh, as you're, as you're taking first watch, um, and you're around the wagons, you can see the ground tremor a little bit, and, like, small pebbles, like, jump and, and move. Um, the, the driver who's with you, uh, also sees this, kind of waves it off, like, just like, shh, just, you know, just be quiet. They'll avoid us. Maybe don't clang so much. <laughs> Coltash sits very still. All right. So your watch goes by fairly, fairly quietly, uh, with the exception of you do, you do you have the tremors going on uh, along the ground and along the walls. So it's it's a little nerve wracking. Who's taking second watch? Um, recall. Okay. When your watch ends, you go and nudge recall awake, and one of the drivers nudges and nudges another driver awake. Recall, make a perception check, please. Okie dokie. Let's see perception. Nice. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Uh, you're sitting, say so you're probably sitting in one of the, one of the wagons, because it's, it's a tunnel, it's front and back, you just have to, like, swivel oh. a little bit here and there. Okay. Um, while you're watching, you experience the same thing, there's trembles, trembling on the ground, and, uh, from above you, uh, some dust falls and dirt in front of your face, and as you look up, you can see a crack in the ceiling kind of, like, open up. Uh, not too terribly large, but it's a it's a, it's a a crack in the ceiling where some, some small stones and rocks and dirt uh, fall out of. Okay. Um, I wake everybody up. Um, I start okay. bang, banging on the, you know, lightly, but, you know, I do my best to wake everybody up. Everybody, uh, you, you may not be in a, a safe area. There appears to be a crack forming above exactly where we are, are right now. We need to move. I look at the gnome caravan guy, <clears throat> who is still nameless, apparently. Uh. I don't know if I ever gave you a name. Oh, wait, 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 let me see. Did you get a name? Well, his name is Stanley Yelnat. There you go. <laughs> if I never gave you a name, that works. Stanley Yelnats, and the other guy is 
Hector Zerone. I love that. We did not. Uh, we did not get a name for the gnome. Only for the dwarf. The dwarf is Burkham. Mm, no, the, the gnome. Because you only ever talk to the gnome. The gnome is Burkham. The gnome is Burkham. I think you've only okay. ever talked to the gnome. Burkham doesn't talk. Yeah, the the gnome is Burkham. Okay. Burkham's okay. So. The gnome, the gnome, uh, kind of rolls out of his bedroll and looks up at the crack and, oh, it's, that's, 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 shh, just be quiet, everything will be fine, it's, it's just a creature making its way through some tunnels. It happens all the time. If something falls through the ceiling, let us know. Um, well, rocks fell through. And he, he okay, so you say rocks <laughs> fell through, he looks over at one of the pebbles on the ground and flicks it with his finger. That's really not a worry. <laughs> well, righty <pretty> then. <laughs> <laughs> and rolls okay. back over and goes back to sleep. <laughs> Your watch continues. Uh, same thing. Lot, lot of, lot of like trembling. Uh, loud, like, like very slight seismic activity. Um, who's taking third watch? I'll take third watch. Okay. All right. So, uh, recalls watch ends, and she goes and nudges Mina awake. Uh, and. One of the drivers uh, nudges another awake. Uh, make a perception check, Mina. It's the world's best perceptive gnome. <laughs> Never broke, I mean. An eight. Alright. Uh, you were awakened by a recall early. About a crack in the ceiling. The uh, the crack widens ever so slightly. More dirt and rocks fall out. Nothing seems to really, you know. It's a quiet night, with the exception of being awoken midway through. I'm gonna kind of move myself out of the cracks. Okay. A little bit. <laughs> uh, also, also, while you're doing that, make a stealth check so the driver doesn't see your race. He. Did as he you look it? up, <laughs> huh? I was like, no, he can't have beat it. He he did beat it. Oh. By a one, because I rolled a natural seventeen. <laughs> Damn it. <coughs> um. While you glance up at the crack, uh, the driver's like, um. Miss, are you aware your skin is... Are... Are you one of those dark elves? I pull my thing back over. Look like, down. he... Because he can't... He can't see the horns. Like, it... He just sees the skin tone. Yes, but... I don't like... I don't like being a dark elf, so... I, I try to make myself look like a normal elf, and I can't. Here. Hmm? Thank you. But if you could keep it between us, I would appreciate it. He gives you a nod. Thank you. Alright. And your watch is over. And presumably morning arrives. <laughs> it's very difficult to tell when you're underground. 
um, you, the driver goes around and nudges his his companions awake, and um, he's already like brewed up a little coffee and uh, gotten some some breakfast like porridge going. Uh, and after you eat, you continue continue on your way uh, in these tunnels. Um, while you're moving, the the trembles and the and the seismic activity of, of creatures moving through the, through other areas is less noticeable because you yourselves are also moving. Um, and throughout the day's travels, uh, the gnome and the dwarf. Um, Pick tunnels that, uh, you know, everybody make an perception check for me, please. 26. And an 8. Recall! Yes. Being a dwarf, which is, I mean, you would expect the deep gnome to help out with this, but he doesn't. Uh, being being a dwarf, uh, you spent much of your youth in tunnels, much like this, True. until until making your way to the wall. Um, okay. So you are more keenly attuned to the fact that you are descending uh, the entirety of day two. Ooh, okay. Okay. Um. So I will I will ask the gnome as to why we appear to continually be going down. Oh well, um, this is just the way the tunnels go. It'll even out eventually. Hmm. Okay. Um. I casually mention it to the rest of the group. Okay. Throughout the walk, but we still appear to be going down. What does the rest of the group do with this information? We're going further down into the mountain. Odd, odd question. Um, can I tell? Really, looking at the how the how the um, how the the cave or, or passageway is. Um, Stalactites, stalagmites, that kind of thing. Can I tell if we're actually moving in it? Are, are we are we just going down, or are we going down and still forward? Does that make sense? Um, it's really it's really difficult to tell direction. Okay. In a in a cave and underground because you don't have anything really to you don't have a sun overhead to know what we're. That is true. Um, but you do. You do know that you've done, you've made some turns, you know this, and uh, you're not sure exactly what direction you are currently going. Okay. Although I think somebody in the group has the no north, don't they? As a druid? Well, we're calling, no. going to try to do it as nonchalant as possible, but she's going to start drawing a map as we go. Okay. Okay. I don't think George just naturally know North. I thought they did. No, that's... Caleb can, but that's because he's got that... He's got the feet keen mind. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's so I don't have that's that... That's the reason I thought George did that, too. It's been a, it's been a long time, guys. I think range. I think certain ranger things might give you that yeah. at some point. Oh, okay. It's a ranger thing. All right. So you, yeah, you, uh, you continue with the caravan. And recall is discreetly drawing a map as best she can. Um, more like a spelunker's map. More like a spelunker's map. Okay. okay. Yeah. I will be right back. We will wait for him to come right back. It just, just a lot. I had a 
of curiosity. Um, yeah. Looking around, is there is there any water? And and if there is, is it flowing or just pooling? Um, there is there is some water in the cavern system. Uh, you've got this ginormous lake uh, mm. between the between the mountain ranges and then that river running running to the edge. Uh, so there is there is some water uh, groundwater from that. Um, not a great deal where you're currently at, though. Okay, so no way to tell which way water's flowing or whatever. Correct. Right. Okay. Gotcha. I'll just forever be really ghostly. Actually, it's a little bit better. Hmm? I was too dark. So I was like, mm. well, I gotta make myself light. There's, I've got two options. I have ghost and dark. There's no one between. Well, boo. I need a ring Welcome light. Welcome back, Danny. <laughs> okay. So. What I mean. Nothing. We, we, we pause it uh, for a second while yeah. you're gone. I, you, I uh, asked. Recalls. Yeah, I asked if there was any water and if there was any way to tell, you know, whether it, which direction it was flowing in. Um, and there's some water around, but it's it's like, you know, your, your typical cave kind of water. I'm guessing, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me see the distance on this. So, towards the end of the uh, of the second day of travels, um, where Recall has informed you that you have been descending uh, for the entirety of the day, and you've done some turns and twist backs and things of that nature, everybody make a perception check for me, please. Twelves. <clears throat> very, very faintly, you can hear the sound of falling water ahead of you. <coughs> the sound of falling water ahead of us. Yeah, but like, that would be that'd be falling... that'd be Coltash and Mina. So is it falling onto like in our direction, or is it falling from our direction? Uh, you don't know that by listening to Falling Water? <laughs> you can tell if it's like, is it, I can splash Well, it, it, if there's water falling, can we tell if it's landing on something or yeah. falling mm -hmm. away? On, okay, is it landing in more water and it sounds more splashy okay. or is it landing you, in the rock? It's, oh, yeah. it, sounds, it sounds like uh, water hitting a rock. I will mention this to the drivers. Okay. Alright. And the party. So, Recall's going to have a listen. Does it sound like it's um, like high volume water or more like a like a stream type flow? High volume. High volume. We may have a waterfall, guys. Alright. Okay. That so, might make troubles. Coltash, you mentioned it to the drivers and the merchant. Yeah. Right. It's like, oh yeah, there's a there's a river above us at this point, I think. Um, does there appear to be any change in airflow? Like, is it cooler or is there, you know, like whenever you're around a waterfall, you get that kind of breeze? Make a separate perception check for that. Oh, you know. Aha! <laughs> that was a thought. <laughs> There's, there is airflow all around okay. you. People are breathing. It's just... 
Basil's probably behind you going like that. <sighs> just to fuck with you. Wait a minute, everybody, wait. <laughs> there's there's wind behind Oh, it's Basil. <laughs> Just trying to whistle. <laughs> Just trying to whistle. I'm just trying to whistle. Okay. Uh, the uh, the 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 merchant uh, indicates the drivers that they want to push on a little bit further. Uh, before they rest for the evening. And um, as they do, uh, ahead of you, you can see a faint light. And the further is it over you push... it? Is it over at the Frankenstein place? Yes. Uh, like and the <laughs> and the further the further you push on, the the more you can hear the water uh, striking rock and the sounds of flowing water. Um, mm. And you you notice that there is a pervasive mist around your feet. Ooh. Everyone, there appears There's a, to be a pervasive, pervasive mist, mist around the mist around your feet. Yes, mist. a constant mist. I don't freaking words, man. It's I'm tired. Give me a long. <laughs> a misty mist. It's misty mist. A misty mist. A misty mist. A misty mist around your feet. I'm sorry. I think I, I missed that. <laughs> I don't like you. What do you guys want to do? Just gonna, just gonna keep on, keep it on. Well, I think we should proceed a little more cautiously and slowly as we approach, because since this is a unique feature of this tunnel we've been going through, there may it may draw creatures to it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask the the gnome if he's run into this before. Is there any? Is, is there a magical aspect to this mist? Which which gnome are you asking? Um, yeah. the the one that we've been talking to. Yeah, not not bad. <laughs> the merchant. Okay. The merchant. Yes. Yeah. Um, is there a magical aspect to the mist? Well? Is there? A, hmm? Is there a what? Burkum. 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 Magical oh, aspect. To the magical mist. aspect. Uh. Are you casting anything to figure that out? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna cast detect magic around this. Okay. Uh, well, as you're as you're casting that, um, recall asks the merchant if there is if this is the is this, if this is normal, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a, a normal. It's uh, we're, we're coming up to some. Some water and uh, it's mists up when it hits the hot stuffs. The hot stuff. Ooh. What hot stuff? <laughs> and uh, you do not. You Let's see here. It's up to up to thirty feet. You don't get a sense of anything magical from the mist itself. Uh, you do get a faint aura off of the gnome, merchant, and the dwarf. You're muted, Danny. You're muted, Danny. <laughs> and I'm and I'm lit up like a Christmas tree. Yep. And <laughs> and your party members are pretty lit. Okay. Okay. So there's no there's no magic from the waterfall or the mist or anything or 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 any one foot of stone around us because it can go into one feet of stone no nope. <laughs> no nope. okay all right so the merchants hmm. have magic on them that's good to know all right yep. Yep. i'm gonna trust them to lead the way they're the ones that've been through this before so okay they uh, they continue pushing on, and um, 
the light in front of you grows brighter, and eventually you come to a cliff. Um, to one side, to your left specifically, there is water falling uh, from above, striking striking the ledge of the of the cliff you're on, and then continuing down. Um, it's when you hit that cliff side, it it, it gets you start feeling warm. Uh, there's a heat emanating from below, and the light that is the light that that was has been growing has had a red tint to it. Okay. The volcanic, perhaps. Um. Do we smell so, sulfur? Do you smell sulfur? Yeah. Does it smell like farts? Yeah. Nope, nobody's nobody's dropped dropped ass late recently. <laughs> then it's probably not volcanic. Volcanoes smell like sulfur. Yeah. Does it look familiar to me? Yes, it does. They relieve sulfur gas. So and sulfur yep. smells like farts. It smells like bad eggs. Russell sprouts. <laughs> Much. Very good. Uh, I don't know if you heard me, Emily, but yes. Okay. So I. Uh, um, okay. Recall just trying to figure out. Is that, okay. So. Um, at, so we're at a cliff. Where exactly are? She asked the the, the merchant. So now that we're at, we're at, we appear to be at somewhat of a dead end. Where do we go? How do we? Where do we go from here? Another word, I say. Questioningly, but also not so much. <laughs> well, uh, once we're out of the tunnel, we there's a village at the other end, where the where we're traveling to, where these traders are headed, and then from there. Well, no, I'm 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 wondering how how I think what I'm trying to get at is. How, can we tell how, how wide the cliff is? Are we going to be able to stay on the cliff and go wherever we need to? Uh, are you going to step out and take a gander? Why not? Sure. Okay. You step out further on the cliffside, and this it is wide enough for some carts, specifically okay. your carts, to get through. Um... The the way ahead of you is also descending. Oh, okay. And as you look out at the landscape, um, you are met with something you've never seen before. Okay. It is the earth below you is red and okay. dried and cracked and desolate. <coughs> okay. Um, I'll come back and see. Um, I, I, you guys might want to see this. I've never seen this before. Um, take a look at. The... Hold on a second. <laughs> it I every time it drives me nuts. I have. So Nancy, confused. that sounded like your phone. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of ringtone is that? I don't know. When we play Rings of Elysium, I'm always like, the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. What was your ringtone from again, Nancy? Uh, The Edge. Just weird. <laughs> very weird. Very strange. And that's what you chose for my ringtone. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, sorry, that was the vet doing a follow-up. So. Oh, okay. kitty. Uh, they're both okay. They had their dental cleanings yesterday, so they are under anesthesia. Ah, uh, gotcha. So. <clears throat> and then Cindy had a tooth pulled. So, 
Out of her 30 teeth she's supposed to have, she has 10. Wow. Yep. Wow. Yep. Uh, so yeah, what were you guys saying? Oh, um, I was describing telling him you need to come take a look at this. Um, just, I've never seen, I've never seen land like this before. <clears throat> I'll go take a look. I, I go take a look. How how far down is it? Um, down to like ground level. Yes. Yeah, if we're up on the cliff. What's how far down from the cliff till it hits another floor? It's pretty far. I could fly down there if you guys it, want it, me it, to. It's not Netherward far though, is it? Make a perception check. Uh -huh. Come on. Don't suck. It's pretty far. Uh, did Mina go look? Well, I, I already mentioned that it was another horn, and everybody, nobody's listening to me, so... Well, I didn't, gonna, I didn't hear I, you. Oh, my, yeah, I didn't hear that either. I, I will, like, meander out there. Well, I kind of like smartass answered when she asked the gnome. Work them. Uh, um, so, okay, so I meander out there slowly behind everybody. And then I'm going to look and be like, oh, we might not need to go to the village after all. Well, if that's the nether ward, uh, nobody else here can fly but me. You said the cliff goes, like, down, though, right? Yeah, so when you step out, immediately to your to your left, there is a, um, from what you can see, there's a, there's water cascading from above you to below you. But, uh, you know okay. how gravity works? <laughs> and, then, and then to your right, there is a winding, um pathway that leads, that descends down, and then kind of snakes back around, and looks like it can t like, switchbacks. Switch switchbacks. Yeah. I do not so Is that the way... As... Is that the way the cart is gonna go? Are you asking the DM, no. or are you asking the merchant? Uh, we're not along the tunnel to the village. We're not going to the nether ward. I mean, I mean. Okay, well, I this, wasn't sure. The player talking and their. Okay, the in my head, we reached the cliff. We reached the cliff. Is the cliff in front of us or on the side of us? Is the what? 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 Okay, you said we reached a cliff. You reached a cliff. Yes. Now is the cliff. Like, did our pathway just end at a cliff? Or it, did, did we just come out of a tunnel onto a cliffside road? Yeah, so you, the came out, you came out of the tunnel onto a cliffside road, but to the left, the, the cliffside is being bombarded by water. So you Do don't we know, know what's behind the water? Not from your, van, not from your current vantage point. But there is a pathway ahead that would take us past all this and continue through the tunnel, correct? Uh, not that you can see. Oh, so we are at a dead end, and we yeah, cannot... you're at the, yeah, you're at that's... the you're at the end of the world. That's what I was thinking. Okay, so I was like, then there's a problem because we thought we were going through the mountains and ending up at a village. So, as Coltash turns this over in his mind, uh, he is going to turn to Berkham and say, um, uh, I thought you said this tunnel went through the mountain to the village on the other side. 
this doesn't look like a village on the other side. Everybody make a perception check for me real quick. Is it everyone or just... Oh, hold on. Uh, that jacked up the cameras. Let's get Nancy back in this call because she done dropped. Or at least try to. Did Basil tell us that he saw magic on the... I don't think so. People. Did her internet take a dump? It says she's connecting. I know, but it, she had been she had been in that disconnected state for a while. Oh. Let me call her. I'm Jeff. Okay. Yep, and Jeff is Nancy, and Danny's still Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Something's not quite right. Something's happening here. I'm going to pee while you read. Okay. Oh yeah, she dropped out of roll 22. I wonder if her internet took a poop. We can hear that, Danny. Yeah, her phone is going straight to voicemail. Ooh. Well, they were having they were having some weather issues in that her area too, weren't they? Oh look, there's the sun. <laughs> it, it, it arrived. folks while we are waiting for any technical difficulties to resolve themselves uh we watch me braid my beard yeah watch jeff braid his beard or i mean he's in nancy's spot so watch nancy braid her beard <laughs> well that's appropriate for a dwarf <laughs> uh now her phone isn't even picking up oh they may have lost cell service in that area May have lost everything. Yeah, they were at they were at a severe flood stuff, weren't they? I think she had mentioned that when we first started that they were having some weird uh, weird flooding going on. Yeah. 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 I need to get some wax if I'm gonna braid my beard so it stays braided. Oh yeah, I'm looking at the radar. Severe thunderstorms. Severe thunderstorm warning. Lovely. Lovely. And, yeah, it's pretty much going right over where she lives. Ooh, fun. Fun. So, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do something real quick. Um, will the three of you please make a perception check? I know you guys are not in the right spots. We're just going to do this real quick because okay. I don't know if she's going to be back. Wrong things. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. A natural 20 and a natural 1 in the same roll. Um, <clears throat> while while Coltash is asking this <laughs> Yep. While Coltash is asking this question, you from behind you think you hear the sound, Basil and Coltash, of stone like Something scraping along stone. 
Uh, Mina, you definitely hear something scraping along the stone. Um, and as you look back, there is a faint glow in the tunnel. What color glow? It's yellow. Not orange, not red. Yellow. Yellow. It's yellow. Okay. And well, it's better uh, than purple. Yeah, and uh, the the merchant uh, answers you, Coltash. Um, well, I mean, I really hated to do this, but um. High tails it down the cliffside. <laughs> towards the underdark area. Towards towards the nether ward. He like leaves his carts. Uh, he and the dwarf and his drivers like they haul ass out of the out of the carts and just book. Is it. there any way to use a reaction to try and grab him or grab whoever's closest to me to keep them from running? That'd be the merchant. Yeah, go ahead and make a make a dexterity dairy check. <sighs> I'm in prepare feather fall. You're gonna prepare feather fall? Okay. I think it's that. Wait, it might just be a reaction. I'm gonna hope it's. 16. Let's see what he got. Reaction. I can use it. He got a 9. So yeah, you. Like, as soon as he, like, I'm sorry, and then turns to book it, you grab him by the back of the collar of his shirt and, like, And then no. I. And then I, I. And I don't leave it there uh, because. I, I know how gnomes can be, and <laughs> just saying, and I yank him back and basically just get him like this, you know, kind of pinned up against me in the crook of my uh, okay. left arm. When I, I, as I see him do that, I go, watch out, he's got magic! He's got magic. Well, it's right here. He's got magic. It's right here. It's a little He's got magic. He's a magic boy. I nabbed him. You nabbed him. him. All right. Uh, so as you reach out and nab him, that scraping sound grows closer, and the the bright or the the yellow light uh, grows brighter. And you can hear <clears throat> a raspy voice uh, emanate from the tunnels behind you. Uh, and um, it, uh, it says, Burkham, you've done well. I just got a text from Nancy. Big, big storm powered out. All right. And that's where we're going to call it. Welcome, you betraying bitch! <laughs> <laughs> so, next week, uh, we will pick up with you guys immediately rolling initiative. Okay. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna drop my disguise. Okay. Because. Uh, We're and past that point! <laughs> just to. Just. Because you could probably see. Part of the visage, visage, visage of this thing, uh, it's it's that big thing. I kind of figured it was something. The Michelle visage. I yeah. pictured pyramid head. Mm. So that's better. So, there, there you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, and and I I am gonna apologize ahead of time. Uh, but my girlfriend did help me uh, make this to fuck with you guys. <laughs> well, you know, you already said that once, so... Yeah. The yeah. fact That's that we're really reinforcing bad. that doesn't fill me with... Um, <laughs> gotta apologize twice, it must be really bad. Doesn't fill you with the warm fuzzies? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. But uh, it's warm fuzzies. I, I'll buy the warm part. The fuzzy, not so much. <laughs> so yeah, we're go we'll be back next week. Hopefully, Nancy will have power. Hopefully, I will have power. Hopefully, everybody will have power. Uh, provided you know, barring anybody getting hit by a freaking hurricane, because apparently those are already brewing. 
It's only June. Apparently, they're already brewing. Uh, North Carolina can't handle it. We can't <laughs> deal. Nothing can handle that shit right now. That's, floods up in this by bit. the way, guys, anybody listening in the government, that's climate change. <laughs> yes. Hey, maybe, real. maybe one will s swing so abnormally far north that it'll hit, it'll hit like New Brunswick. You mean like you mean like Hurricane Sandy back in the day? Well, that. What do you mean back in the day? That was a couple years ago. That's not back in the day. <laughs> back in the day. Two years. Uh, no. Two I'm years. Not, Danny. Now. I back Danny. Two years is Danny. not back. <laughs> that is that is back in the day when you're sub thirty. Uh, <laughs> I'm thirty now. I can say back in the day about any year prior to last year. No, you can't. <laughs> it does not Those are the rules. Let's oh, start back not. in my day. Then you misread them. <laughs> them. Turn thirty. Anyway. Year prior to turning thirty is back in the day. All right. All right, viewers, apologies for the short session. This could have went for another hour, and uh, I might have killed somebody. I don't know. Maybe. You'll just kill us next time. Yeah. 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 That's what happened. Uh, so we'll be back next week uh, with with this, and it'll be a combat session. Um, probably a long combat session. Maybe. Who knows? Um, anyways, I don't have any announcements, so let's go around and tell us who you are and where we can find you on the internet. Uh, bye. I'm Goose Kitty, and you can find me there on Twitch and Twitter and Instagram sometimes. Yep. Sometimes. All right. Nancy's not here, but you can find her on WoW. I can't remember all the information. Danny will fill you in and when he comes around. You can find her uh, at IS Chicky Poo and on WoW and various characters, usually bum wallers. On the Moonguard server. Who is scraping stuff? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's the scraping of the creature <laughs> on the rock as it comes down the tunnel. The creature coming for us. Mm. Mm. Oh, sorry, sorry. Continue, Danny. Or is that all? Oh, no, it's Jeff's turn. Oh, Jeff, go ahead and tell us Find me here. Because I am still taking a hiatus from Twitter because that place is the devil. Um, yeah. For my mental health. Yeah. I understand. And Danny. And I'm Two North in chat. I'm Colin65 on Twitter, where I don't really do much except retweet this fabulous thing that I am a part of, which you've enjoyed for a sadly brief amount of time, but, you know... What are you going to do when Mother Nature, you know, destroys your power? Um, well, I had I had a power arch this morning, so... You know, and... I my fingers uh, on that. Also, once a month, on Saturdays at the same time... Next Saturday. This coming Saturday, barring yeah. any unforeseen circumstances, we will pick up once again with uh, our fantasy... Campaign Unknown. Aid. Yes, campaign unknown. Uh, and what will happen? Well, that's unknown. <laughs> it is. I do know that you're going to go meet Alphonse, though, at some point next week. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, exciting times will be had by all. We hope. <laughs> well, I mean, just because it's exciting doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> I think it mean all kinds of things. But I have no doubt that, good or bad, it will be exciting. Uh, I think next week should be okay. Nothing's going to try and eat you in the Saturday game. <laughs> that, we, that we're aware of. But there's a whole week to get through, and who knows <laughs> what your e evil girlfriend That's right. That's will right. Uh... convince you to do by then. Oh no! I'm also the only person at at in in IT this week at at my workplace because everybody else took off. Like legitimately, the entire department is off. Oh. So, and who allowed that? The boss. That's really stupid. Who is also off? 
that's really stupid. That's why, because they don't have to deal with any of the consequences because they're not going to Well, it was going to be it was gonna be me and one other person, but that other person quit, so... It's just me now! Yeah. Just, just me. So did, I'm going to be pretty Walter cranky next weekend. Not so stupid. I'm going to be pretty hey, well, cranky next weekend. You're an idiot. That's not good management. <laughs> anyway. Be back later. Have a good uh, good rest of the weekend, folks, and we'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.